Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big time changes to you. I'm Bumi Adimola. Beloved, if there were ever a time that you ought to be extremely sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, it is now. 2022 is a year more than ever before that you need to develop your sensitivity to the voice of God's Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 2 and also chapter 3, a total of seven times he kept saying, to the churches and you need to know that that includes you even his church today he kept saying let anyone who has an ear listen to what the spirit is saying the message translation says he said are your ears awake listen friend if you are going to be able to obey the instruction of the lord when he told us to what, live in the Spirit, walk in the Spirit, and be led by the Spirit, it's only possible when your ears are awakened to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And so today, I want us to start talking about, I want us to talk about how to awaken your spiritual ears, how to be sensitive as well as obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit, because your prosperity, your victory, your safety in life depends on your ability to hear and to obey obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus Christ said it seven times in total. It is very important for Jesus Christ to repeat something seven times in two chapters. So now there are three things you ought to do to awaken your spiritual ears. Number one is prayer. It all starts with prayer. If you want your spiritual ears to be awoken and sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, simply ask God to awaken your spiritual ears. It starts with prayer. Proverbs 20, 12 says that the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. So since the Lord is the one that makes the, see, the eyes to see and the ears to hear, if you want your spiritual ears to be awake to the voice of the Holy Spirit, you simply simply need to ask God that God should awaken your ears to give you the ability to hear the voice of the Spirit of God. This is a prayer I pray all the time. I say, God, awaken my ears to hear, my, open my eyes to see, and my heart to understand and obey what the Spirit of God is saying. And I tell you in response, God will do that. That's what we're told in Isaiah chapter 50. When you pray to God, God, you made the hearing ear, you made the seeing eye, awaken my ear, make my ear sensitive to your voice. The Bible says in Isaiah 50, this is what God's going to do. Isaiah 54 through 5, he is going to awaken your ear morning by morning. The prophet said, he awakens my ear morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. The Lord has opened my ear. See, it is the Lord that opens ears. And I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. So the first thing to do is to say, Lord, open my ear. Go ahead and do that right now. Place your ears, your two hands upon your ears, and say that simple prayer to the Lord. Say, Lord, open my ears to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and take it to the next level to say, open my heart to obey. Because it's one thing for God to open your ear to hear. It's another thing for you to follow through with what God told you. So where you pray to God, he will awaken your ear. He will open your ear to hear his voice. And also he will open your heart also to obey. Now, secondly, you need to get rid of what the Bible calls the idols of your heart. If you want to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, beloved, you need to get rid of what the Bible calls the idols of the heart. Because as long as you have idols in your heart, you will not be able to hear the voice of God. Idols of the heart are like mufflers. They muffle out sound. They muffle out the voice of the Holy Spirit. The Lord told the prophet Ezekiel in Ezekiel chapter 40 verse 3, he says, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and they have put before them that which causes them to stumble into iniquity. Should I, says the Lord, let myself be inquired of all by them? And the contemporary version says it this way. It says, so I refuse to give them a message. God will refuse to speak with you. He will refuse to give you a message as long as you have set up 
idols in your heart. Idols of self-will. Idols of self-way. Idols of self-agenda. So if you want to hear the voice of God, you need to put aside your own agenda. Put aside your own will. Put aside your own way and say, God, speak to me. Because I promise that whatever you say is what I'm going to do whether it is agreeable to my flesh or not. I tell you, when you want to do the will of God, you will hear the voice of God. When you want to do the will of God, when your heart wants to do the will of God, your ear will hear the voice of God. The Lord Jesus Christ in John 5, 30 said, Even as I hear, I judge. I decide as I am bidden to decide. As the voice comes to me, so I give a decision. Why? Listen to this. Because I do not seek or consult my own will. I have no desire to do what is pleasing to myself, my own aim, my own purpose, but only the will and pleasure of the Father who sent me. So Jesus Christ could clearly hear the voice of God. The voice of God came clearly to the Lord Jesus Christ because he did not seek his own will. He didn't seek to please himself, but he only sought the will and pleasure of the Father. So when your heart only seeks the will and pleasure of the Father, your ear will hear the voice of the Father. People don't hear God's voice because in reality, even when they go to God in prayer, they are seeking their own will. Go to God with a pure heart. That you just want God's will and God will speak to you. Last but not the least, if you want your ears to always be awake to hear God's voice, you need to obey him instantly and you need to obey him fully. Hebrews 3.15 says, Today, if you will hear his voice, if you want to hear his voice, that's what the Bible says, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. A hard, heart, a hard and rebellious heart of disobedience will never hear the voice of God. If you want to hear God's voice, you need to make up your mind that anytime he speaks to you, you're going to obey him instantly and you are going to obey him fully. Nothing deafens your spiritual ears. Hear this. Nothing deafens your spiritual ears as much as repeated disobedience. And this is what we see happen to King Saul. Over and over again, he disobeyed the command of God. And what happened? In the end, he stopped hearing the voice of God. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 14, 37, that Saul asked counsel of the Lord, but the Bible says God did not answer him. Again, in 1 Samuel 28, 6, Saul inquired of the Lord, and the Lord did not answer him. So when you repeatedly disobey God, you will stop hearing his voice. So when you hear God's voice, the Bible says, Hebrews 3.15, don't harden your heart. Obey God. And the more obedient you are to the voice of God's Holy Spirit, the more you will hear the voice of God. Your spiritual ears will be so sharp and alert to every single thing that the Father says. And when that happens, my friend, you have secured for yourself a life of safety, prosperity, and victory. Thank you so much for watching today. I do trust you were blessed. If you've not done so, subscribe to this channel, follow my social media handles. See you next time. God bless you.